Hello, my name is Dr. Melissa Esmacher. I teach history at the Northwest campus, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to take notes in your history class. We're going to cover two important components of developing selective note-taking skills. The first is figuring out what your professor considers to be important, because we know you can't possibly write down every single word they say. And then the second is going to be on the mechanics of taking notes. How do you take effective notes in class? So let's first start talking about figuring out what your instructor considers to be crucial or important information. In other words, what will I be tested on? The very first place you should start is your textbook. I know this may seem odd because we're talking about taking notes in class, but your textbook will give you a lot of clues as to what is the most important kind of information in your class. Pay attention to any key terms or chapter recaps in your textbook. This will give you uh, both an overview of what the textbook considers important and most importantly, you can notice where the textbook and your instructor overlap. If you, after looking at the textbook, go to class and notice that your instructor really heavily emphasizes some of the same things the textbook does, then that means that information is important. And the same uh, train of thought, if your professor completely ignores a section of the textbook, probably that's not something that you need to pay as much attention to and focus on. So your textbook is a great resource in figuring out what pieces of information are the most crucial and the ones that you will be expected to know. Next, let's talk about outlines or buzzwords. Not every professor will give an outline in their class, but some instructors do give lecture outlines, whether it's at the beginning of a class, whether they upload it to Blackboard before the class starts. And if your instructor does give these, they are really helpful and you should write them down. Um, part of why lecture outlines are helpful is it gives you a structure for writing your notes. So you can always go back and organize the notes you take in class later using this outline to help, kind of help process the information. Again, not all instructors do this, but if they do, definitely take advantage of this. This is a really helpful tool in taking notes in class. All professors use what we call buzzwords. Okay, these are words that indicate that the information around, surrounding these words is important and that you should take notes on them. Um, different professors use different buzzwords, but some pretty classic examples that you'll find in common throughout your classes are words like key, revolutionary, changed how we think, fundamental, especially. Okay, again, these are like flashing neon signs that said, I am important, write me down. Okay, so make sure that you don't miss those buzzwords. Your particular professor may have some other additional buzzwords. This is going to come down to the next most important piece of information in taking effective notes, knowing your professor's style. Every professor is different, so it might take you a little bit of time to figure out how your professor delivers important information. One thing is if they repeat definitions of key terms. Anytime your instructor repeats themselves, it's not because they have forgotten what they just said. It's because they're giving you an opportunity to write it down. So make sure if your professor ever repeats a definition of a term that you write it down. They're giving you time to make sure that you've got it in your notes. Also, professors have favorite subjects uh, within your class. So notice if a professor emphasizes information on a particular theme over and over again, whether that theme is politics or religion or gender or any other thing. Um, generally, if a professor is repeatedly emphasizing uh, a topic or a theme, then that's going to be something that they consider very important and something that you will be uh, evaluated on in your exams and your papers. So now that we've talked a little bit about how to figure out whether information is important and you should take notes on, let's talk about how to take those notes effectively in class. Okay, if you tried to write down every single thing your professor said, not only would your hand probably fall off uh, from writing too much, but that's not really going to help you determine what's important. This is what we call selective note taking, only taking notes on the really important material and learning what material is, is filler or less important you don't have to pay as much attention to. So when you take notes in class, there are a couple of things that you can do to make your life easier. One is you can consider developing your own quote or shorthand. Uh, 
I urge you to make sure that you can actually read it later. Uh, because if you can't read your own notes when you go back later and figure out what this word meant that you wrote down, then it's not really going to be helpful to you. You should always take advantage of any resources that your professor uh, provides you. For example, if they post their PowerPoints or lecture outlines uh, on Blackboard or share them with you at the beginning of class, always take advantage of these, uh, particularly if they post PowerPoints, because you can print those out, especially with the note taking on the margins, and that will make your life so much easier because the basic information is already written down. All you have to do is take notes to kind of clarify uh, or add information to that. If you're having trouble taking effective notes, ask your professor if you can record uh, the class sessions. Um, this can give you an opportunity to listen to it outside of class. It's oftentimes helpful, especially if English is not your first language um, or if your professor talks really fast. But you do have to ask and receive your professor's permission before you record the class, so don't record them secretly. Probably one of the biggest things that you can do to really develop good note-taking skills in class is actually what you do outside of class, specifically by reviewing your notes. One of the first things that you should do when you take a new class, whether it's history or anything else, is make some friends in the class. Um, not only will you have a built-in support system if you ever have to miss class, but you can learn a lot about your own note-taking skills by comparing notes with a classmate or two or three. They may have uh, picked up on information that's important that you missed. This will overall kind of help you sort of plug the gaps in your note-taking skills if you see other people's notes as well. You should take the time to review and, if necessary, rearrange your notes outside of class. Many students look at this and go, well, what's the point? It's time consuming. If you do this initially, it may take you a little bit of time, but it will get a lot easier as time goes on. Um, basically, you want to do this so that way the information sticks in your brain. Okay, if you go back and maybe retype your notes in accordance with the professor's lecture outline, uh, and review it, it will be much easier for you to remember this information come exam or paper time. Okay, so again, this is a skill that will take some time to develop. It will take a little bit more uh, investment of time in the front end, but it will get easier for you as you go on, and then you'll find yourself taking better notes while in class. Lastly, when it comes to key terms, when you're looking at taking notes, always attempt to answer the W questions. Who is involved with this source? Okay, what is going on uh, with the source of this key term? When is this taking place? Where is this taking place? And the big money question, why is it important? Okay, uh, what does it connect to in class? Uh, why is this a significant term in history? This is going to be what your instructor especially focuses in on. So make sure uh, that you, when you're doing key terms, try to define this. I hope that this gave you guys uh, some helpful tips with how to take notes in class. If you have any questions about taking notes, by all means, ask your instructor for their advice with their particular class or pay a visit to your campus's tutoring center and they can also give you some help. And check out the History Lib Guide online.